Health care for the heroes of 9-11 and an old-fashioned political brawl brewing over the economy. I'm Julie Banderas and the news starts now. Iran claiming it has shot down at least two Western spy planes. So far, it hasn't provided any proof, though. This weather alert now, and it is official. The storms that ripped through the central Mississippi uh, area on New Year's Eve included at least three. Melina joins us now from the Fox Weather Center. So, Maria, is it unusual to see this kind of severe weather uh, this time of year? Yeah, it's very unusual. Typically, Julie, we see this during the fall or during the spring where you get those really sharp temperature contrasts from the north. You know, you get that colder air from Canada sinking southward and you still have warm air across the south. So by December, we really should be seeing very cold temperatures across much of the country by this time. So still looking here at our past uh, 48 hours, this is New Year's Eve. That storm system bringing in very warm air to the Gulf of Mexico ahead of it, winds out of the south. We had temperatures in the 70s across Arkansas saw very unusual and also very humid air about dew points in the 60s. So that's just telling you how humid the air is really unusual to see that during that time. And actually, according to the tornado history project, we had only one other tornado fate our backyard across New York City. We saw very warm air. Greg earlier joking that he was going to pull out his Bermuda shorts, but uh, also <laughs> bringing in some light rain across the I-95 corridor in New York near Boston. And on the back side of this, it's getting cold out there. Lake effects snow in Buffalo, also around Syria. And that will be accumulating out there. And on the back side of this, once again, cold air 22 in Buffalo here in New York. 46. That cold air will be moving on here, though, uh, as we head into the next day. So to kick off the work week, as people head back to work, you're going to have to bundle up. Lake effects, no warning in effect for the Tug Hill Plateau. That's where we're looking at a significant accumulation, about 8 to 16 inches. And then further west, we have another storm system bringing in additional rain and mountain snow to California and Los Angeles area, and also some flood warnings in effect for Bakersfield and also parts of Fresno. Julie. All right, Maria Molino, thank you very much very much. Thank you. Dramatic images after a police gun battle ends in tragedy. The sheriff calling it the worst. A sheriff's deputy shot and killed during a dramatic standoff at an Ohio trailer park and witnesses say other officers just couldn't get to her as she lied dying on the street. It had about the officer who was hurt. Well, he works for a relatively small department Dedicated family. Dedicated mom too, and that is yeah. just devastating. All right, Casey, thank you very much. You. Well, now a follow up to a story that we first brought you here last night on the Fox report. A fun filled day at Universal Studios in Orlando turned chaotic after a fire broke out on one one of the rides it happens victims are being targeted by gunmen in California and we are talking about sea lions wildlife officials say that they have seen a rise in shootings of the ocean mammals recently with 43 reported incidents in 2009 that's up nine from the year before and they say many more go unreported officials say we're in the streets of Egypt Christians protesting across the country after a terrorist attack at a church on New Year's but the demonstrations are aimed at the Egyptian government and listen up, your tax refund it may not be arriving as soon as you would like this year. That's because the IRS is saying that you may want to procrastinate on preparing your tax returns. What's up with that? Next. You know, with the battered economy taking its toll across the country, political leaders are saying that they are taking a tough look at spending all across the board, and many point to the public unions as a significant source of the bleeding budgets. And this comes isn't the only celebrity caught up in the media spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Next, we're going to take a look at the biggest scandals of 2010. From celebrity affairs to drug busts, 2010 certainly saw its share of scandals, making it a year to remember or one to forget, depending on who you ask. Megan Kelly gives us a look at some of last year's most scandalous headlines. I'm Julie Banderas, and this is the Fox Report. It's the bottom of the hour. Time for the top of the news now. Republicans set to take over the House this week after those big wins in the midterm elections, many vowing to use their new power to block President Obama's agenda and even undo legislation that has already passed. One top target is health care overhaul. 
Even if the House votes to repeal the health care bill, though, Democrats still control the Senate. And that, of course, could mean two years of gridlock for a string of key issues on the Republican agenda. But the GOP is still looking to build a record to run on in the 2012. Well, right now, it is unlikely President Obama will face a strong Democratic challenger come 2012. Democratic country's leader put his car on the auction block and divers brave the cold for a New Year's tradition as we go around the world in 80 seconds the Holy Land each year to pray. Next, we're going to tell you how you can become a part of it, too, without ever leaving your home. And folks using... This is a cause for alarm. Get on. If you can't take time from your busy schedule to hop on a plane to Israel, well, then you can make that same trip using your iPhone. Users around the world, by the way, experiencing some problems with the device's alarm clock, causing many to oversleep and get a late start on the first two days of 20. Brigade taking their own show on the road and making a plunge for a good cause. Just two stops on a Fox trip across America. A Baltimore Orioles relief pitcher, now a murder suspect, Alfredo Simon is accusing. And the University of Pittsburgh has fired its new head football coach after police arrested him for domestic violence. This is back Brett Favre sitting on the sidelines as the Vikings lose to the Lions today. Bill is here live in the studio. And Casey, is this really the end for Favre? I'm dying to know. You know, Julie, I think a lot of people might be mad that we're even doing this. Nice on the weekend, by the way, have a safe flight back to Thank the uh, so left coast. Thanks. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Well, one of the more unusual sports stories of the day, this water tennis. This is Rafael. On one major airline, American Airlines, in